All right, YouTube, this is how far we made it today. Might be a little loud, it's raining today. It's been raining off and on all morning. So I hope you can hear me, but uh, yeah, we, we made some progress, I think. The, uh, the T-plate base is completely put together and all screwed together to the frame. The frame is very tight, it's very rigid. It's, uh, it's within half a mil square. I mean, it's literally dead on square, um, so. That's definitely good. Um, the Z, the Z plate and Z axis, I'm pretty sure, is just about 100% minus the router. The uh, the lead screw is coupled to the motor here, and that is secured. Um, these other motors here, I've prepped but have not mounted yet. So I pretty much just got the uh, the pinion gears put on those. And, uh, and they're sitting in their appropriate places just waiting to get secured. But I've run out of time for this morning. And I've got some other things I, I need to do today. So this is probably as far as I'm going to make it today. Um, but yeah, it's gone really well so far. I haven't really um, had any problems or, or major mistakes or anything like that. It's been going very smoothly. And, um, Derek does a good job in the video of explaining what we're doing and how we're going to do it. So... Uh, I think the most anxious, nerve-wracking part I've uh, I've had so far is putting these these self-tapping screws into the aluminum T-plate. Now, um, I use these quite a bit at work, so I'm very very familiar with them, and they do break easily. And in the video, Derek was using a ratchet, uh, but I I use my Dewalt impact gun, so. I, I was very careful. Um, I knew I know my Dewalt impact gun very well. I know where its limits are and how hard it's hitting. Essentially, I guess if you if you can understand that. But um, yeah, these uh, self tappers right here. I put those in with an impact, and you got to be very very careful. If you decide to do that with an impact, you have to be very very gentle because if you break one of those. You're going to have to drill it and extract it and probably uh, tap a new hole. So if, if you're not very familiar with impact guns or, you know, power tools, I would just go ahead and use a ratchet. Um, it's, it's probably not that hard with a ratchet, but just for the sake of time, um, I, I went ahead and used my impact. And I tell you what helped, I think, was some 3-in-1 oil. I just put like a drop or two of 3-in-1 oil on each one of those self tappers and it really helped them just slide right into those holes so I definitely would recommend using some kind of oil WD-40 PB blaster um, or 3-in-1 oil here any kind of cutting oil I mean you could probably use motor oil whatever you have vegetable oil anything to kind of lubricate uh, that screw or that self tapper a little bit as it as it goes into to the, the pre-drilled hole and cuts its threads but yeah, that was probably the most nerve-wracking part that I've had so far. It's been pretty smooth sailing. I haven't been pulling my hair out. It is time-consuming. Um, takes a while to to get everything because you want to make sure you're doing it right and um, you know not over tightening. That's a big thing I've I've been uh, trying to focus on is not over tightening. Um, I'm definitely getting everything good and tight. All the screws, you know, for these these button cap screws that go in there to the extrusion for the for the Y rails. Um, I'm getting those very tight because you don't want those moving around into the the T nuts that go into that extrusion. Uh, those are getting very tight, but you know I'm not over tightening and stripping them out. So um, definitely put some torque on them, but not too much. So yeah, it's going good, guys. Uh, anybody else that's in the middle of a video or in the middle of a build right now, uh, I hope things are going as well for you as they are for me. And um, we'll see how she holds up once once we get moving. Uh, I know some people have had a few problems with uh, screws loosening up, you know, maybe motors. Uh, i tell you one thing that I am going to change. The screws holding this Z-axis motor in are M4 by 14 uh, screws. So they're 14 mil long. They're 4 millimeter wide. And then you have a 6 mil spacer right here. So it if you can see, that screw is not even long enough to come all the way through the bottom of this plate. I think it's only making it about halfway through this bracket here that the um, the motor mounts to. 
think it's only making it about halfway through there. So um, I did Loctite those in, but it's just blue Loctite, so I shouldn't have a problem getting it back out. I think I am going to stop by um, the hardware store on my errands and adventures this afternoon, and I'll probably pick up four, um, four more 4x20 four machine screws to put in there, 20 millimeters long. And we have here, it comes the, in the hardware that comes with the machine, we have three 4x20 machine screws. And I almost put went ahead and put those in, but I, and then I realized, I thought there was four, then I realized there was three. So I decided to wait. I, I just went ahead and put in those uh, 4x14 machine screws. Uh, but I will be taking those out later and I will be replacing them. I tried one of these 20 mil screws in there and it did, it pokes out the bottom of that bracket about a 16th of an inch, you know, so uh, you could probably get away with like a, a four by 16 or a four by 18, just something to get, get in and catch all of those threads in this bracket and the hole in this bracket right here. So definitely don't want that Z motor popping off. That's, you know, all the pressure on the Z motor is coming up and down. So we definitely want to make sure that that is secured well to this bracket. Um, but yeah, that's the only change I think I'm going to make. Um, other than other than that, though, uh, everything's been looking pretty good. All the screws are going in well. Looks like they've all got plenty of thread biting. So uh, it's going good, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in. Hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and help it grow. And I'll definitely keep the content rolling. So far, uh, now that the machine's here, I've been producing content about every day, putting a video up at least to update you guys, and I, and I hope to keep doing that. So especially once we get rolling, I don't see why I won't be posting something every day. So please subscribe, help us grow, share the channel. Thanks, guys. Talk to you later.